What is up guys, Thaddeus here. In this video for today, I'm gonna be walking you guys through three reasons why your Instagram ad, shout out, whatever it is, sucks. A lot of you guys might, you know, realize this is, you know, kind of the issue, why you're not getting traffic to your site, why you're not getting conversions, why you're not getting engagement, whatever it is that you're struggling with, um, in terms of like the Instagram side of your business. This, the, these could be the reasons, all right? So I'm gonna hop right into it. It's just three little reasons. This is gonna be a really quick video, but reason number one, guys, your pictures suck. Uh, it sounds, you know, really bad. It sounds, you know, whatever, but a lot of you guys are drop shipping. A lot of you guys are doing e-commerce, and with that comes the lazy side of things where people, you know, will take supplier images, okay? They'll take um, images off Google, stuff like that, where, again, you can find good stuff on Google, but again, guys, having your own content, having your own brand strategy, basically is the most powerful tool, especially in dropshipping where it's super easy to get into. Everyone can make a website and throw a bunch of pictures up that, they're, that they grab from their suppliers. Um, it's good to just basically raise the bar for your brand um, and just increase the quality of that, right? So I'm gonna walk you guys through, for example, I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right guys, so this was a very, very old brand of mine that I put on hiatus, this wasn't a dropshipping brand, but uh, guys, this is just to get the point across, like imagery. We took this with our own cameras or with our own photographers that we worked with to get you know content that looks like this. Okay, I'm talking about good quality photos. Again, it's just a bracelet, but it's a lot better than you know your supplier's white background bracelet. It's a lot better than your supplier's pixelated bracelet picture. It's a lot better than you know what you usually see. So again, guys, especially with Instagram, it's such a visual platform. A lot of you guys are struggling with you know creating engaging content or engaging ads that actually get people's attention or get them curious about what you're selling. This, this could be the reason. You just have a crappy image. You, you don't have something that draws emotion or it just doesn't get them to be like, oh, that's really cool, whatever it is, right? So again, with this picture, it's like, it was a very, very nice quality image. We took this at sunset, again, called Golden Hour for Photographers, not really a big deal. You guys don't know that, but it's just having you know a quality image helps you guys to convert, right? Because then again, this is gonna lead me to reason number two, which is your caption doesn't actually enforce anything, okay? And again, the point of a good quality image, especially for Instagram and for ads, is to basically send them to your caption, okay? The image is not supposed to tell them about your product with text or a bunch of that crap that just basically throws people off and immediately they know it's an ad, okay? Instagram is a visual platform, you gotta kind of curate to that or allow your brand to encompass you know, that visually aesthetic appeal. And so with that, guys, the picture goes into your caption. Now guys, reason number two is your caption could just not you know, be enforcing enough to actually tell people, hey, visit my site, check out my products, whatever it is, guys. So again, with captions, I encourage you to have two call to actions. Okay, usually what that means with Instagram is you're driving people from the shout out from the ad, uh, especially so if you're doing a shout out with an influencer, you're driving them from there to your own Instagram page, okay? And what does that mean? Is basically you need to have two call to actions. So basically you tag your own Instagram account twice, in the caption somewhere along the lines, all right? So for me, how a typical shot might go is I would just do a very, very quick, you know, one-liner description of what the product is, right? So for example, if it was this bracelet, right? This is an 18 karat rose gold beaded bracelet, okay? So it might just be 18 karat rose gold beaded bracelet by, and then I would tag my brand. So for example, this one was 3 Bar Co. So I'd be by 3 Bar Co. or presented by 3 Bar Co, right? Because then again, it gives that more luxury vibe because this was a very like, luxury kind of structured company but again it's just having that allows people to click through it and it kind of gives them okay this is the company this is what they're doing a lot of you guys will just not basically have a good kind of structured caption right so again if you're you know if you're trying to be cheap and affordable make sure you have a discount code link down there and then you can say presented by or brought to you by you know and then you tag your instagram handle right you just need them to click through okay and then you make sure to say shop now at and then you again you can't have your website linked in the caption but having it there which just lets them know okay that's their website well whatever it is some people like most people won't do that like go straight from the caption and go you know into their browser and type that in but Having that there and then them clicking through to your website and then seeing the site there allows them to click through to that from your Instagram page, okay? So that's kind of the point of it is just have a solid caption, guys. Like, make sure it's structured. A lot of people kind of don't really know how to structure a caption or it sounds too cheesy or it sounds way too selling. Like, again, you don't want to kind of shove it down people's throats. You're supposed to kind of be like, hey, we're here. This is a really good product. You might be interested in it. Check it out, right? That's kind of the, the perspective you guys usually want to take, not like, this is our product, buy it right now, blah, blah, blah. Like, most of the times that's not gonna work if you kind of like jam it down their throat, okay guys? So that's, that's, that's reason number two, all right? Now, reason number three is your own Instagram page. That could be throwing people off big time, okay? What I mean by that is one, again, your image on your feed could be crap. Like, you might have a bunch of just dull white background or blurry or just not very good looking, it, like feed, 
like an Instagram profile, guys, that could throw people off. If you're trying to like sell a high expensive product, but you don't look expensive or luxury, that's gonna throw people off, guys. Again, it, it, it's, a, it's a process, it's a funnel that you guys kind of need to, to realize. And any one of these little things in this funnel can throw people off. And that could be the entire reason, you know, you're not getting traffic or you're not getting conversions, whatever that is. Because I see some people have really, really good, you know, ads or they, you know, they're, they're able to at least like source good influencers and then throw up a good ad. And then they're telling me, hey, I'm not getting any traffic. And then I kind of look at their, 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 basically their cycle. And then I can hop in their Instagram page and I see, oh, you know, they, they don't really have good content or, you know, they only have a hundred followers. It's like people aren't gonna buy from that kind of stuff, guys. So basically, it's just making sure your your page looks good. Again, guys, a lot of you, because I don't know everyone's niches, but a lot of you guys can look at your competitors that are doing good in the industry, see what they're doing, and like mimic it, guys. It's drop shipping. It's a very cutthroat industry, unfortunately. I mean, most industries are, but you can look at your competitors and model what they're doing good, and kind of model that for your own brand, for your own store. Okay, guys. So that's the video, guys. It's just three little tips on you know why your Instagram ad may not be doing well. Um, and just analyzing that stuff guys and kind of figuring out the little pain points in the whole cycle and process is really really key to that guys So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like don't forget to comment I respond to everybody's comments and uh, subscribe guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course, the free PDFs, and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool. It's all night. I can do this all day. I can do this all night. Don't, 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 don't give me too easy. I like a little challenge. When it feels better, when you take a little damage. Slow, learn it fast, earn it, stay, burn it, wheels, turn it, it's so on, going on, going thing. Don't give it to me.